my dear friends and welcome back to another Star Wars news update. We're going to begin with some trailer news for the Kenobi series. Yesterday we spoke about a tease from Maxine Park, the trailer producer at Disney, and today we have some more evidence that our first look at Obi-Wan Kenobi is just around the corner. Over the last few hours, many fans and leakers have picked up on two social media accounts that have emerged and they're both titled Obi-Wan Kenobi. One on Twitter and the other one is on Instagram and both are private with just one post. Now, now, these accounts were created last year in October. Some people believe that Disney and Lucasfilm bought the account of the previous owner for the handle name, while others claim that the previous account was suspended and passed on to Disney. Whatever the case, all signs point to these accounts being the official ones for the show. Now, the fact that these are now viewable but private means that we're getting closer to a Kenobi trailer, and I would not be surprised if it drops in the upcoming week. Releasing it near the start of March gives them over two months to market this series, which I think we can all agree is going to be the biggest show of the year. So keep your eyes peeled, a Kenobi trailer is imminent. This is where the fun begins. So now my dear Megalorians, we have some pretty cool news for The Mandalorian. Season 1 is being adapted into a series of mini-comics. According to the official report from StarWars.com, kicking off in June, all eight chapters of the hit series are going to be retold in an eight-issue series for Marvel. It's being written by Rodney Barnes, who so far in the realm of Star Wars comics has written Lando Double or Nothing, IG-88 War of the Bounty Hunters issue, and he will also pen an upcoming Mace Windu story in light of the 20th anniversary of Attack of the Clones. An adaptation of The Mandalorian Season 1 should not come as a major surprise. I guess the next question is, are they going to do the same with Season 2, The Book of Boba Fett, and the other Star Wars Disney Plus shows? As stated earlier, each episode will get its own issue, but it remains to be seen how beefy and lengthy each issue is going to be given the varying length of episodes. As with any adaptation, some material will be cut out, so it'll be interesting to see how the show's events will be reframed to add something new that the fan base can dig their teeth into. And just to reiterate guys, this is just for season 1. They probably will do season 2 eventually, but this is 8 issues for the first 8 chapters of the Mandalorian story. Speaking with Star Wars com, Rodney Barnes, the writer, had this to say. The story of the Mandalorian checks so many boxes of the stuff I'm passionate about. I love westerns, fantasy, science fiction, comedy, drama. It's a dream gig for any writer. I'm just glad I was chosen for this assignment. And so I will say, my dear friends, I will be doing a full review when they're out. And if you're subscribed to Patreon, you get to see me go through each one, issue by issue. And so finally, my dear friends, another quick update for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. A new official video showcases a gorgeous Coruscant map. The Twitter post teased the location's quote, political intrigue, bright lights, shiny tech, and Jedi Temple, and invites players of the game that's coming out on April 5th to visit Coruscant. New images were also included showing off the underground feel of the city in all of its vibrant glory. And as we know, Coruscant is famous for being the headquarters of the Jedi Order and where the Senate holds its political affairs. The location has only showed up on screen in the prequel trilogy and the Clone Wars. We also see a flashback in Rogue One and it was going to be used in Episode 9 but wasn't, so it's likely the only levels of Episodes 1 through 3 will touch upon it in this game. But it's not the last we've seen of Coruscant. The Andor series is rumoured to include the the planet. So with that said, my dear friends, that brings us to the end of this news update. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and why not check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. But until tomorrow, may the force be with you all. I'm Star Wars Meg, have a good one.